then the last step to setting up your device, your DVR or NVR on the network is the DDNS setup. Now again, please follow the steps prior to this video. There are three steps before setting up the DDNS. First, you need to address the device with a local area network. Then you must do the port forwarding, whether that be through the NAT UPnP feature and it be done automatically or having to do it manually through the more settings, which is setting up your own manual ports and then port forwarding them, them yourself. Then finally is the DDNS setup. So the DDNS setup is again found under the configuration menu, under network on the left, and then under extranet access. So you want to start by checking the checkbox for enable DDNS. The DDNS type you want to select as simple DDNS. You'll notice that there are other options within the DDNS types as we do offer third party um, DDNS setup, but simple DDNS is KTNC's service and it is free of charge as well. Once you choose a DDNS type of simple DDNS, you want to verify the server address is www.simpleddns.com. And then from there is where you would choose your device domain name. Now within this field, it can be alphanumerical, but it must start with a letter and there is no spaces allowed. So in this case, I'm going to go ahead and backspace this and we will go ahead and put in test DDNS. You hit enter. You hit apply. And in this case, the domain name has been used. So if the domain name has been used, you will get the message and you will have to go ahead and um, reconfigure your name. So in this case, we're going to just go ahead and add a couple of um, numbers at the end. I will hit apply. And if you get no error message back, you have now successfully set up your DDNS. There is a lot of misconfusion out there that you one has to go to www.simpleddns.com, create a username and password first, um, then enter in the device's serial number and things of such. All that information is not needed to be done. It is as simple as checking the checkbox, choosing your device domain name, selecting the DDNS type as simple DDNS, and hitting apply. Now again, if your LAN was set up correctly and your port forwarding was done correctly, setting up the DDNS is simply checking the checkbox, putting the name in, hitting apply, and now you have saved your information. And the way you access your DVR from here on out, from the outside network, would be typing in www.simpleddns.com forward slash test DDNS 12345. Again, that's the server address www.simpleddns.com forward slash the device domain name that you've chosen. That is how easy it is to set up the DDNS. But again, the DDNS cannot be set up without the local area network configuration being properly set and the port forwarding being taken care of first. So those two steps are necessary in order to have the easy setup for the DDNS. We do thank you for your time and we do hope that these videos make it a little bit easier for you and networking. Um, have a great day.